Princess Savitri of the Madhura Kingdom was as benevolent, brilliant and bright as the sun god she was named for. Her grace was known throughout the land and many powerful princes and wealthy merchants flocked to her family's palace to seek her hand in marriage. But upon witnessing her blinding splendor in person, the men lost their nerve. Unimpressed with these suitors, the princess determined to find a husband herself. Mounting her golden chariot, she traveled through rolling deserts, glittering cities, and snow-capped mountains, rejecting many men along the way. Eventually, Savitri ventured deep into the jungle, where she met a young man chopping wood. His name was Satyavan, and like her, he loved the tranquil forest. But the princess saw he was not at peace. After talking for hours, Satyavan told her of his plight. His parents had once been wealthy rulers, until his father was blinded and overthrown in a violent coup. Now, Satyavan worked tirelessly to support their meager new life. His determination and devotion moved the princess. As they gazed into each other's eyes, she knew she'd finally found an equal. Savitri rushed home to tell her father the good news, only to find him conversing with Narad, the traveling sage and wisest messenger of the gods. At first, her father was thrilled to learn of Satyavan, but Narad revealed a tragic prophecy. Her betrothed had only a year to live. Savitri's blood ran cold. She'd waited so long to find her partner. Was she already doomed to lose him? The princess would not accept these terms. She swore before Narad, her family, and Savitr himself that she would never marry another. Satyavan was her one true love, and their fates were entwined forever. Moved by her powerful words, the sage told the princess to follow an ancient spiritual regimen. With regular prayer, periods of fasting, and preparation of special herbs and plants, she might be able to prolong Satyavan's life. After a simple wedding, the couple returned to the jungle to live in keeping with the sage's instructions. This modest existence was a far cry from her lavish upbringing, but they were happy in each other's company. A year passed, and the fated day arrived. On their first anniversary, the sun grew horribly hot, and Satyavan's brow began to burn. Savitri barely had time to drag him into the shade before he grew still and cold. Through her tears, the princess saw an immense figure on the horizon. This was Yamraj, the god of death, come to escort Satyavan's soul to the afterlife. But Savitri was not giving up yet. She followed the god for hours in the beating sun. Yamraj thundered at the princess to leave him in peace, but even as her feet bled, and throat burned, Savitri would not turn back. Eventually, Yamraj paused. He would grant her one wish as a reward for her persistence, but she couldn't ask for her husband's life. Without hesitating, Savitri asked the god to restore her father-in-law's sight. The wish was granted, and Yamraj rode on. But still, Savitri's footsteps echoed behind him. Exasperated, the god granted her a second wish. This time, she asked for Satyavan's kingdom to be restored. Again, the wish was granted, and Yamraj began his descent into his subterranean kingdom. But when he glanced back, he was astounded to see the bedraggled princess stumbling along. He'd never seen such devotion to the dead, and he honored her dedication with one final wish. Savitri wished to be the mother of many children. The god agreed and waved to dismiss her. But the princess only repeated the vow she'd made one year earlier. Her fate was forever entwined with Satyavan. How could she bear many children if Yamraj would not return her husband? Hearing this clever question, the god relented, knowing he'd been beaten. With Yamraj's blessing, 
and respect, Satyavan was returned to Savitri, and the two walked back to the land of the living, united in a love that not even death could destroy. Not all negotiations with death end quite so well. But then again, not everyone makes one fatal mistake. Find out what Orpheus should have done differently to save his love, Eurydice, with this video. Or keep the winning streak going with the tale of the doctor who defied death.